you know, we're trying to figure out where the focus is for Caleb on football because he's got a lot of money that he makes through NIL. He's got a lot of endorsements that he deals with and everything. But even as a high schooler, he was on recruiting boards in what, eighth grade? Ninth grade, like there was interest and there was stuff going on for Caleb. How was his focus and his work level in terms of breaking down film, doing the stuff that quarterbacks need to do, Coach? You know, Caleb, you know, so there there are players that love, or excuse me, um, well, I'll say this. There, there are players that get excited and love Friday nights in your high school, or Saturday afternoons in college, Sundays in the NFL, and then and they tolerate the, the, the work, the preparation to get to those moments. But I think C- Caleb is one that, that really uh, embraces everything that it is to be a football player leading to those moments. You know, so his, his preparation was always really, really strong uh, relative to, to what we needed to do, uh, the game plan, things of that nature. So he's a, he, he um, has a thirst not only for competing at the moment, but also, the way that he he worked and and prepared, so I think that that certainly was a um, was evident in in what he did, and 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 that his love of the game. So don't ever um, get 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 it twisted. Like you know, this guy is um, he is foremost a a uh, competitor that truly loves uh, loves football. So. Um, you know, what, what, whatever the perception or, or, or what somebody may, may have, or you may, I mean, this guy is a, uh, is a football junkie. You know, the way that he takes care of his body, the way that he um, hones and sharpens his mind for the game, and then, um, and then the way he competes. How in touch with Caleb are you? Uh, we, we're, we're in touch, but you know, we're talking about a, a, a bona fide celebrity, man. And then you're talking about a, a, a guy like myself, it's fair, fair, fairly busy. So we, we, you know, living on opposite ends of the country, we don't see each other, uh, nearly as often. So the last time we spent quality time together was last spring when he came, um, uh, uh, back to DC for a few days and, um, and we spent some good, uh, some good time together. And then, you know, usually during the course of the season, we'll, we'll text, um, you know, so maybe before or after games, there's a couple, a uh, couple words to each other. Uh, but yeah, we, we're, 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 um, we're in touch. Uh, but, but uh, certainly the distance keeps us from, and our schedules keep us a little bit, uh, a little bit apart from the frequency. Of course. And so you said, you know, like the perception that's out there, uh, there's a lot of perception that's out there, you know, because of his success, his money, the stuff that's been said about him, uh, all sorts of things. Can I run some of the things that we hear by you and just get your reaction? Because we know that you love him and you were his high school coach, but we would just like to re because we're trying to think, basically do what Ryan Poles, the Bears general manager, is going to do and try to you know poke holes in this thing and and dig deep. So can I re- can I run some of these by you, Coach? Sure. Okay. He's not cut out for losing because when he loses, he goes into the stands and cries to his mom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would, I would, I'd say this, um, uh, to me, if, if, uh, if I had a player that I'm coaching or a player that I'm playing with him, I'm a player and he cares so much about winning, uh, winning and losing that uh, after the competition, he were to get emotional in that way. Um, I'd be damn happy to be playing with a player uh, that cares that much, you know, so what I'd be concerned about if I was the owner or the GM or, or another coach or another player would be if we're in the middle of, if it's third and 33 and he starts crying, mm-hmm. that's what I'd be, that's what I'd be concerned about. Uh, then that's not my guy, but my guy is the guy that is, uh, is unflappable third and 33. And then when the, when the game's over, um, uh, we're, we're all crying tears of joy. So that, that's, that's what I, that's, that's what I say about that. The, his dad is uh, a hovering sports parent who gives quotes to GQ and that could be an issue, uh, going forward. His dad, his dad loves him. Um, you know, I think in, uh, 
you know, he's a he's a as far as I know, Carl Williams is a is a, is a good man and has always done the very best that he can um, to support um, his son on all the, all circumstances. And um, you know, so I, that, that's what that's what I'd I'd say uh, about his his father um, and and his mom. Uh, the there's stories out there that people seem to have an issue with about his toughness that he paints his nails. Um, is this something that you're aware of and that you'd care to comment on? <laughs> so, I mean, you just anybody that's ever played with Caleb Williams or coached Caleb Williams, uh, you, you know, very clearly the t- toughness is, is, uh, <laughs> is not an issue. Um, and then, what people perceive as, 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 as tough, it's, it's, um, it's not what you're, you know, sort of wearing on your, your sleeve. It's what's inside of you. So, um, you know, we have, uh, uh, you know, different things. So, so, you know, back in, you know, several years ago, it was, it was earrings, you know, so, uh, there was a time when if a guy wore an earring, there, there was a guy, I think you guys are familiar with it. Um, uh, Pretty decent athlete, uh, you know, played a lot of ball in Chicago that wore uh, an earring or two in his time. Um, he, he was fairly tough, I think. But, you know, I'm sure there were people that uh, uh, when these earrings come on the scene, oh, gosh, how, how could he really be the guy that could lead the Chicago Bulls of championships? He's wearing earrings. Yeah, you're Man. right. Of course, Dennis Rodman wore rings on all sorts of stuff. But we, we, got, we got your point. <laughs> We, we get your point, Coach, for sure. Um, how, how about this one? Uh, teammates um, didn't believe in him or follow him as a leader. There's this moment where USC, a USC player says, today we're a team when they won a game without him in the bowl. Did you see teammates believe in Caleb or not? I, I, I've never seen anything but his teammates love and support him uh, in my time. Uh, with, with him at Gonzaga, and then what? What I observed at, at Oklahoma, and 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 what I observed then at USC, uh, that that uh, you know, beloved uh, uh, by his teammates and guys that really uh, he was fighting for, and guys were fighting for him. So I think that um, you know, I don't think that necessarily says that he uh, just because hey, they they won and had a, a had a, a great moment that that was uh, a, a slam on him or a knock on him in any way. Yeah, you know, he's the the film coach is honestly some of the best stuff I've ever seen. Like people make the Mahomes comp. Um it it seems to be truly special. People are calling him generational. What would you tell Ryan Poles, or in this case a Chicago audience, about the football player and the potential of what he can be at the next level? Yeah, I mean it's it's he's he's rare in that Sometimes you you see a, a great athlete do something, and you say, "Boy, was that wow! Was that was that was that lucky?" Um, and then, but when you're around him enough, and you see certain things that are you like have these wow moments, like almost w- w- once a, once a week, uh, where there's some crazy thing that he he makes a crazy throw in practice, makes a crazy run in a game, you know, does something that's like. Wow, and then really, it's it's the it's the it's the the way he impacts uh, everybody. So I always say, you know, he's got a he's got a tremendous um, poise uh, uh, to him under pressure, and, and and a real belief, like he really wants the ball. Um, and there's a lot of great athletes that don't really want want the ball, or they don't want the ball thrown at them or to them um, in that last you know moment. It's easy to you know, uh, do it when you're, you're up on the score or, uh, but, but he really wants that, that moment. And then he, and, and that belief inspires others and others see that and they feel that and they know that. And in a game of football, it's, uh, this is not an individual game. And I think he really, really, uh, uplifts the, um, you know, the, 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 really the, the mental belief, because really, um, when we're talking about a, a game that requires such physical gifts and in, in the NFL, you're, you're talking about a very fine line between, you know, talent of the, the, the top team and the bottom team. Yep. So there's something, there's something that that's got to uh, separate you and then separate your, your, your franchise and your, 
and that guy is uh he's 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 different is there anything he's not good at coach that you think he's got to work on yeah i mean he could be a he could be a maybe a little better singer i've heard him sing um (laughs) you know maybe a little bit of better dancer you know so he 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 could he could do he could work on his dance steps maybe his his singing voice a little bit i'd I'd say that all right how how about the cold the cold is he all right in the cold oh yeah good yeah yeah chicago it gets cold here sometimes coach cold in maryland hey man chicago's different cold now i I know that man that that that's a different cold I, i would say that Again, this guy is so competitive, and 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 really, uh, I think uh, his toughness meter is is high, um, and I and I think yeah he 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 would uh, adapt to those circumstances. Whether mm-hmm. we're talking about high heat, uh, cold, uh, wind, rain, I would not bet against this dude. To to uh, uh, he is he is he is not soft. Uh, and and he uh, this this uh, this animal can adapt. I would I would say that. Yes. Uh, he followed Lincoln Riley, right? He goes to Lincoln Riley with Oklahoma, then to USC. The Bears are interviewing Cliff Kingsbury. Can you speak to the idea of like the best system to get the most out of Caleb Williams? I mean, I, I think C- Caleb likes to be challenged. Um, you know, so when you, when you have an athlete of that caliber, you know, you you want to you want to have a, a, a system and people around him that continually um, ch- ch- challenge uh, him. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, so his, um, there's an element of creativity to him. Um, and it's almost like you, you, you see these people that have like the, uh, the genius gene, like a so great musician, um, uh, um, a great, of uh, of uh, artist. You told um, us he can't they, sing though, coach. Pick a lane. Here, pick no, a lane. That, yeah, that singing is not his thing. Okay. All right, but 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 um, he sings with, you know, on that football field, you know. So, but I say, you know, he's got like this um you know, you 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 want to always um um provide uh something where there's there's um you know, you you can't box that type of type of uh genius in you know it's got to it's got to be some something that um um sparks the creativity the the curiosity part of that to for him to you know uh uh really sort of uh fulfill this unlimited potential that he's got hmm. and so you know i would just think you know offensively you know you you, you want to have uh, someone that uh or people that are around him that uh, have great creativity that can continue to challenge him in ways, which I think, uh, you know, Coach Riley was was great for him, you know, because because of that. You know, this guy, um, um, you know, Coach Riley speaks for self as success he's had, but I think um, that that's important as far as the, his next step. Do you think he'll measure in over six feet at the combine? I do. Okay, but you know what? It, it 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 don't matter, <laughs> you know. You you like like to 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 that guy. I don't care if, if you measure him at six five. You measure him at five five. That 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 dude is 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 as uh, he cannot be denied. Um, uh, I, I cannot be denied. Thank you, thank you, Coach. This animal can adapt, and he cannot be denied. <laughs>